Speaking of standing, a member of the team was unable to do that for the last year plus. Greg Nero spent most of that time in bed sick, but after a year away from Fairfield, he's back to where he wants to be, in the classroom and on the court. It's kind of a place of solace for me right now because um, I can just kind of get away from life. You know, I can just find peace on the court. I still to this day don't know what happened to him. Uh, it was a great mystery, a common illness that turned into a debilitating condition. So it was scary because we didn't know exactly what was wrong with me, but the symptoms were so dramatic and, and crippling. Nero says it started as mono, and while he felt weak, the six foot eight, 215 pounder played on. But it became more and more difficult, so much so that there are games he played through, but couldn't remember playing in. I think we played against Manhattan, and uh, we won. And I think I played the last 10 minutes and scored 11 points, but I didn't know after the game in the locker room that we actually won, so I didn't have any memory of the game whatsoever. So I knew at that point something was wrong. And the illness got worse and baffled doctors. Eventually, they attributed the symptoms to a virus, a virus that took over his life. He spent over a year in bed, which makes this return to not just the court, but to school, monumental. It's quite a transition because uh, I was sick for a year and a half. I stayed at home uh, in my bed <laughs> for pretty much the whole time. I couldn't get out of the house. Uh, it's kind of depressing. So coming back here, being in the college atmosphere, being around my teammates, uh, you know, it's just very uplifting. Nero says his biggest fear in returning to school was whether he'd be able to focus in the classroom. That was one of the biggest problems he had during the illness even up until fairly recently. If I were to talk to you or have an interview with you four months ago, I would have been like a zombie. You know, I was really, really out of it. But he's coming around. He says he still has some issues, but with nutritional supplements and medication, he's making great progress. I just feel happy to see his face every day uh, from, what he's went, from what he went through and uh, all the agony and frustration. To see him out here just in class, see him come to the office, and then seeing how he's getting better and better every day in practice that we've had him, uh, he should be a force in our league if he continues to stay healthy. Nero says he hopes to be able to play up to 25 minutes a game, but what's most important is that he's back. It, kind of, it changes your outlook on life in general. It kind of makes you realize what's most important. And um, things like basketball and, and stuff like that, you know, they don't last forever. And uh, you can't take it for granted. And I'm definitely not going to take this year for granted.